how may I help you? A great way to save money is by doing your own turbine repair. Yep, I said it, and it's easier than you might think. Why pay fees to a service technician or a handpiece repair facility when we can show you how to do it yourself? American Dental is proud to present Turbine Repair. Our goal when repairing turbines is to remove the damaged bearings and the impeller from the spindle and then replace with new bearings. The impeller and the spindle may be used again unless you can see obvious damage to the components. In this video we will be repairing the Midwest Tradition Auto Chuck Turbine, but the process is the same for all of the brands of hand pieces that we carry turbine repair kits for, so please use this video as a guide. Due to time constraints, we will be skipping to step 4 of the process. Your end cap has been removed and the cartridge or the turbine is out of the handpiece. Until you get used to the process of repairing turbines, have two cartridges available, one to work on, the other for viewing purposes. Now it's time to use your press and your tools. Place pin number 5L in the bore of the threaded shaft. Place plate number 1 in the bore of the press. The part numbers on your tools may be different, so just follow the directions provided with your tools. As we stated earlier, the process will be the same with all of the handpiece brands that we carry tools for. Place your cartridge assembly, or turbine, into the bearing plate with the push button end in first. Next. Turn the handle of the press until the small diameter of the pin enters your spindle. You may actually have to help guide the pin. Keep turning the handle. You may feel some resistance at the start. Just continue to turn the handle until you come to a complete stop. All of the parts from the spindle will be on pin number 5L and the spindle will be in the bore of the press and plate number 1. Remove the pin number 5L from the threaded shaft. Leave the bearings and the impeller on the pin for viewing. Next, place pin number 3L into the bore of the threaded spindle. Place plate number 2 into the bore of the press. Now, with your fingers, place the straight bearing onto the spindle. This will be at the opposite end of the auto chuck. Place the straight bearing into plate number 2, and then turn your handle until you come to a complete stop. Now let's swap out plate number 2 with plate number 1. Now 
Next, we want to place the impeller on the spindle. Make sure the impeller vanes are facing the right way. You can go ahead and check your example turbine to be sure they are. Hold the impeller in place on plate number one, and then turn the handle to press the impeller on flush with the first bearing. Take out plate number one and replace it again with plate number two. With your fingers, you'll place the flange bearing onto the spindle. Place the flange bearing in plate number two, keeping the flange on the outside. And finally, turn the handle of the threaded shaft forward until you come to a complete stop. And there you have it. You have just rebuilt your turbine. Congratulations! Now, just follow the original manufacturer's instructions for inserting your new turbine, and you are ready to go.